So, I'm not saying Zhongli is a must pull because he's Husbando, which is true. I'm not saying Zhongli is a must pull because he's probably going to be overpowered, which is true. And I'm not saying Zhongli is a must pull because his attacks are fantastic and he's extra saucy when he kicks that spear or pole arm into enemies, which is true. I'm saying Zhongli is most likely going to be a must pull for just about everybody because of the information that we're going to go over today which I found to be extremely interesting and pretty important. Now I do have to preface the video by stating the information that we talk about it could change right. It could be updated and it could be altered so you do have to keep that in mind when we're discussing what we're going to discuss as far as numbers and things of that nature. Also, massive shout out to Zinniat on Twitter. Zinniat being the GOAT, always providing such fantastic information. Thank you so much. I will leave a link to his Twitter page in the description down below. As well as if you enjoyed the video today, go ahead and consider subscribing if you're a Zhongli fan, if he's a, you're a Hispando. And if you enjoy Genshin Impact content, go ahead and consider subscribing as well and like this video if you got something from it. So. Let's go ahead and discuss why I believe Zhongli is going to be a must pull. Well, first and foremost, he's going to be of the Geo Elemental type. Right there, I think it just catapults him as an extremely important character and makes him extremely valuable right off the bat, just being Geo. But it's really going to be based off of this information right here. And once again, I have to reiterate, this could change when he officially releases as far as the numbers that we're going to speak about. Keep that in mind. So. Let's talk about it. We have Zhongli's Elemental Burst Meteor Attribute Level 7. So this is his Elemental Burst if you have not seen it. By the way, I think it's one of the best looking Elemental Bursts or Ultimates in the game, hands down. Of course, Zhongli would have that, but, you know, he deserves it. I, I think it looks great. You let me know in the comments down below what you think. But let's go ahead and get into this information. The skill damage, 705%. The petrification time, 5 seconds, the constellation unknown. So keep in mind this as this is at level 7, right? So that's usually requiring him to be at a certain constellation level or um, at a certain talent level to get to that level 7. Um, but that petrification uh, time at 5 seconds is what I wanted to speak about and why I think this right here, coupled with what we're going to speak about here in just a second, is the reason why Zhongli becomes a must pull. Uh, cooldown of 12 seconds, energy cost of 40, um, and then Zinniat goes on to say other image I believe is con uh, the fourth constellation, excuse me, further increase burst radius 20% and increase petrify by two seconds, which would then overall make this time seven seconds. That's if everything holds true, if this is how Zhongli uh, turns out to be when he arrives in the game officially seven seconds of petrification time if you have the fourth constellation for most people this is going to be you know not realistic right off the bat right because you in order to get those constellations you have to pull duplicates of that character he is going to be a natural base five star so for most people that's not going to be realistic right off the bat maybe in the future at some point i didn't mean to click that <laughs> um so you have to keep that in mind. Um, so if we take a look here, we have the five seconds here. Um, and then we have over here, the fourth constellation, which will uh, increase the burst radius by 20% and then the petrification time by two seconds. So let's just speak about the five seconds first, because that's probably going to be more realistic for individuals right off the bat, right? At some point, once you get that talent to level seven. So five seconds. Think about what you can accomplish in 5 seconds having enemies petrified, especially with it being AoE because it has a burst radius. Um, so it being AoE, petrifying the enemies for a certain amount of time, even if this is not at 5 seconds, let's say this is at you know 3 seconds. Imagine what you can get accomplished in 3 seconds um, as far as your rotations, popping things off, getting ultimates off. This, I believe, is one of the things that makes Zhongli just extremely, extremely valuable. Now, if you get it to level 7, then you get it to 5 seconds. I mean, imagine what you can get done in 5 seconds between your team, you know. So, let's say, for example, you have a Venti, a Zhongli, 
um, let's just throw out Chi Chi and then you have let's just say Klee because that's my team for the most part <laughs> except Zhong Li. So let's say you have those in rotation. So um, you petrify with your Zhong Li and that is for let's just say five seconds. You then pop a Venti ult, you pop an elemental burst, you switch in your Chi Chi, pop an elemental burst and ult and you can switch to Klee, pop your elemental burst and ult um, or elemental burst elemental skill excuse me and old or elemental burst you can do all of that if you're proficient with your um with your rotation and if you're proficient with um your gameplay you can get all of that off and have time to spare and just i can already tell you you're going to be doing massive amount of damage it's actually going to be utterly ridiculous what you're going to be able to get off if you're able to get him to the fourth constellation that burst radius is going to be increased by 20 percent which we I don't know how big his burst radius is initially without the fourth constellation. Um, so we, we would have to wait for more information to come out about that. Um, but increases the petrify by two seconds. So now we have overall a seven second petrification. I mean, it, it, what you can do is just is it's ridiculous. You're going to be able to be able to do so much amount of things to where the enemy is not even going to be able to move at all whatsoever. They're actually going to be stuck and you're able to just, you know, do what you want to do. Now, I understand that some people may find that gameplay style to be um, not fun or not one that they're privy to, but at the same time there are people that are you know into that type of gameplay style like for me for example i find that to be extremely overpowered and extremely interesting um and i did want to go ahead and show off his elemental burst right here so um as you can see if i can zoom in maybe i can zoom in um so he pops that elemental burst right there and then i'm going i'm going too far in <laughs> He pops that elemental burst and then you can see the enemy is petrified cannot do anything um yeah that's a bit overpowered let me see if it shows so i wish there was more enemies around first and foremost that uh <laughs> that um ultimate is just absolutely amazing one of the best looking ultimates in the game it's like madara with um bringing down that gigantic uh boulder um I, oh my gosh it's gonna bother me i can't think of what it's called right now oh that's gonna bother me planetary devastation jeez okay i got it <laughs> it looks like just a, a plan a very cool planetary devastation um on the enemy petrifies them you can then start popping your skills switching um altering characters by the way i just noticed in the right hand corner you see it looks like the dendro characters in there it looks like yao yao's in there child's in there wow i didn't notice that the first time around okay um but yeah so i'm sorry i got off track a little bit i just noticed those characters so i believe that is going to be the reason why zhongli is going to be a must pull for just about everybody uh once again not having anything to do with him being husbando nothing with him having to be you know just a really cool looking character with really cool looking attacks um it's really based on the skills that um, we've been informed of so far up until this point um as of this recording with this petrification, this elemental burst, I think it's going to be pretty overpowered, um, especially for trash mobs, especially for um, elite uh, enemies like this one right here, um, who can sometimes give you trouble. Uh, you can really just petrify him and nullify his attacks and start switching to your other characters and start doing what you want to do. It's interesting to see, and I'm really interested to see how this affects other bosses if they do get affected by this um, by any chance it would be something that I would like to see as well so hopefully we'll get more information on, on that in the future but yeah I, I believe this is the reason why Zhongli is going to be a must pull I believe that elemental burst that petrification him being a geo archetype all of that synergizes well to have a character that's probably going to be doing massive amount of damage um, well you can see the elemental burst does some pretty good damage so um, and then uh, him being uh, a geotype is going to be very beneficial as well. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below if you are going to be pulling for Zhongli or not when he eventually comes into the game. Uh, I know most of you will be, so <laughs> I probably already know what the answers are. But um, let me know if you're not going to be pulling for him and the reason why. That's actually a little more 
um, interesting to, to read. So let me know about that as well. But anyways, guys, I hope this was a bit informative. I know I kind of uh, went a little all over the place there towards the end and got a little convoluted. But nonetheless, I hope my message got across properly. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, once again, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, join the Discord. A link to the Discord will be in the description down below. So that way you can uh, talk Genshin with like-minded people, meet up for co-ops, run dungeons, things of that nature. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.